Welcome back to this final MetPy Monday in our series on archived satellite data. In this MetPy Monday, we're going to look at adding color to our satellite images for infrared and water vapor so that we can get images that look more like what we might want to see uh, as opposed to just these grayscale images that we've created. And so at the end of our last MetPy Monday, we got to this water vapor satellite imagery. And previously we had used and created our infrared satellite imagery. So you may want to go ahead and, and bring these back up so we can utilize them again so that we don't have to re-import all of our data. And so we're going to start with our infrared satellite imagery today and take this wonderful grayscale image and enhance it with a color enhancement based on color tables that are available from MetPy. You might be asking yourselves, well, what data is available or what color tables are available from MetPy? And so let's go ahead and search the MetPy API. And so our first hit here will be the MetPy API. And specifically, we're going to look down here at metpy.plots.ctables. And so on this page, we get a nice image here of the different color tables that are available within MetPy. And specifically, there are a few in here that are great for satellite data. The one that we're going to utilize today is the IR underscore DRGB for our infrared satellite. So going back to our Jupyter notebook that contains our infrared satellite imagery, we need to go ahead and import another part of the MetPy module. So we're going to import from metpy.plots, oops, we want to go from metpy.plots, import C tables. And from that, we're going to bring in an infrared color map, or IR underscore C map. And we're going to do so with C tables, so we're going to use our module that we imported, C tables, dot registry, dot get underscore color table. And here we just need to feed it the name that we want. And so this, the name of our color table that we wanted was IR underscore DRGB. And we're going to want the reverse order one. Additionally, we're going to set IR underscore CMAP dot set underscore under to a particular color, black. This, in case we have a value that is beneath any sort of low end on our scale, we want to set it to the color black. And so we'll go ahead and run that cell. And we've got no errors. So now we have this infrared color map that we brought in from MetPy that we can now use in our plot. And so all we have to do now is copy and paste this figure portion from our previous cell into our new cell. We still want to use our brightness temperature of IR, but we want to change the color map. Instead of using grays from matplotlib, we want to use IR underscore CMAP. This will now use the color table that we brought in from MetPy. And so with that, we should be able to go ahead and run that. If we've run all of our cells already up to this point, and we yield this very nice looking image. One issue with this image though is what do the colors mean? We need to go ahead and add a color bar. So let's go ahead and add a new line underneath our IMG line here. And so we're going to have plt.colorbar. And we're going to add a color bar based on the image IMG. We're going to say the orientation is vertical. Whoop. Vertical with a V. We're going to set the pad equal to zero, which is going to put our color bar right next to the right hand side of our image. And we're going to set the aspect at 50 or 50%. And so this should add a nice color bar to the right side of our image. So we'll go ahead and rerun that cell. And sure enough, now we get a nice color bar here, which is our brightness temperature values. And so we see these purple temperatures are over the Mexican plateau, which is basically just seeing the skin temperature of the ground there. And so on the order of 
you know, 310K, all which isn't out of the ordinary for late afternoon over the Mexican plateau. We can do a similar thing now with our water vapor satellite imagery. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and take this cell here, and we're going to copy and paste over to our water vapor to import that same C tables module. And now we want a water vapor channel. And so let's go back to our MetPy API to see if we find one that would be good for water vapor. And there are a couple that we could use, but what the one we're going to use is WV underscore or WVCIMSS or water vapor from Sims. And so we're going to go ahead and change this here to WV C I M S S. And again, we're going to want it in the reverse order. And we'll continue to have our set under to be black. So again, we copied over, or we copied over this stuff from our IR. We ran it successfully. Again, we can copy and paste from the cell above to take our grayscale image, modify it slightly to give us our water vapor image in a colored version. And so here we're going to add in WV underscore CMAP. And then we're going to go back to our infrared and we're going to quickly copy this one line here for our color bar since we don't need to change it at all. Add that beneath our IMG line. This will add the color bar on the left hand or on the right hand side rather. And we'll go ahead and run that. And here's our water vapor satellite imagery. This is a nice image. Although it's using the full dynamic range of our uh, data, which again only goes to 260 Kelvin on, on this plot. We can actually change how we bring in our color map. Instead of get color table, we can bring in our color map with a range. So say we always wanted it to be the same range. Here what we want to do then is we want to get with range our color map. So get underscore with underscore range and two things are going to come out of this now. We're going to have both a C map and a norm. And so we need to add norm to the beginning. Two things are going to come out. We're going to save it to two separate things. WV underscore norm and WV underscore C map. And then we need to additionally add what is our range going to be. And so we're going to add our range 190 to 273. We're still going to set our C map under to black. And so again, we'll rerun this cell. And now in order to use our norm here, we want to add in norm equals water vapor underscore norm comma. And we can go ahead and rerun this cell. And we see we have a more uh, a muted color on the high end because now we are going all the way to 273 instead of going to just 260. This presents a more balanced color scheme from what we would normally see looking at other sources that, that offer water vapor in this imagery. But now we see our ticks have all these real values with decimal points. And so we can actually slightly modify our color bar here to specify where we want ticks to be or the tick marks on the side. And so we can set ticks equal to range. 190 to 280 by 5. And that will clean up our ticks just a little bit. So here now we get our final image of our water vapor satellite imagery based on a range of 190 to 273 with tick marks every 5. And that creates a very nice pleasing image and we see all the thunderstorms and severe weather that was occurring down in Mississippi and Alabama on this April the 27th date. Thanks for tuning in to this series of MetPy Mondays focused on using archived satellite data from the class server. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.